She's not my type. That is what the President of the United States has just said about the woman who says he sexually assaulted her. She's not my type, which is what one says when a friend tries to fix you up. Not my type. It's not what anyone really says when accused of what amounts to rape. Not my type. That is precisely what President Trump just said, and not for the first time either. She's not my type. He just said this about his 15th and latest accuser, and we begin tonight with her account of the alleged sexual assault that she says she endured at his hands. And that alone should be compelling enough at any other time it would be. Yet today, it's also part of a larger and more troubling story of collective indifference. Somehow, and we'll explore the reasons why, the fact that the president has been accused 14 other times of unwanted sexual advances or outright sexual assault has numbed people to just how abnormal this is, these kind of accusations. When Bill Clinton was accused two decades ago, it shook the country. Well, now the country shrugs as if one allegation is an outrage, but 15 are a statistic even though he's on tape boasting about being able to get away with such assaults because he's a celebrity, even when, as in this case, the alleged assault is corroborated by two other people that she told at the time, back in the uh, mid-90s. That's when writer and Elle magazine advice columnist E. Jean Carroll says this happened in a dressing room at the New York clothing store Bergdorf Goodman just steps away from Trump Tower. She writes about it and other painful encounters in her book, What Do We Need Men For? A Modest Proposal. We spoke just a short time ago. I want to begin just by asking you about the latest thing that the president has said just moments, a short time ago. He gave an interview to The Hill. He said, I'll say it with great respect. Number one, she's not my type. Number two, it never happened. It never happened, okay? I love that. You I am so that. glad I am not his type. I am so glad. This, is, this was 20 years ago, and I probably was, at that moment, in that five minutes, the most attractive woman in Bergdorf's, in that one bit of time. And you think that's what it was about for him? I don't know what it was about. We were, Anderson, we were having a high old time. You remember Donald Trump, hail fellow well met, walking up and down the streets of New York, greeting everybody, everybody liked him. He You're talking about 1995, 95, 96. 96, he was Shakespearean. He was great. You'd love to see him on the street. So when we met in Bergdorf's, and he said, help me, uh, advise me to find a president, I was delighted, I was thrilled. I thought, this is hilarious. I'm wondering, the statement that he said, which he's just made, which is, she's not my type, number one, that was the number one thing. I love that I'm not his type. He has said that previously, there was a woman, Jessica Leeds, oh, who, I know. And, who came forward, and he, he said, uh, I think we actually have the tape of what he said, and it echoes similar language. Let's just play what he said about Jessica Leeds in front of a crowd. When you looked at that horrible woman last night, you said, I don't think so. I don't think so. She would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. Man. You don't know. That would not be my first choice. He also called Miss Universe fat. Miss Piggy, I think he called her. Miss Universe, one of the most beautiful women in the solar system, and he called her fat. Um, the other thing that he said is that you are totally lying. He said, again, in this interview, new interview, he said, totally lying. I don't know anything about her. I know nothing about this woman. I know nothing about her. She is. It's just a terrible thing that people can make statements like that. He's denied all 15 women who've come forward. He denies. He turns it around. He threatens and he attacks. Let's talk about what, what you say happened, because uh, obviously the, the details of it all matter. And this is, I should point out, just part of, this is one person you talk about in your book. This is not a book about Donald Trump. This is not, there's no. not Donald Trump on the cover. This is about no. your life and- we don't even mention his name. I mentioned his name once in the book, once. So you were in, you say you were in Bergdorf Goodman. I was coming out of Bergdorf's. Which was, was a store I've heard you liked a lot. It's a posh and cozy the and whole just- face lights up when you talk about Bergdorf Goodman, I just, by the way. I was just there today. Okay. It just, I just loved it. So. I was coming out, and he was coming in, he was standing out, and he put his hand like this, so I did not go through the revolving door. He came in, he said, hey, you're that advice lady. And I said, hey, you're that real estate tycoon. And he said, come advise me, I wanna buy a present. I said, oh, for who? He said, for a girl. So I was enchanted. It was such a great moment. Uh -huh. So how about the handbags? Oh no, he doesn't want a handbag. Well, how about a hat? So he strolls to the... He, and had you, you hadn't 
had you met him previ- prior once, to that? Just once, briefly. There's a picture. Yeah, that's where the, f- the photo of with... Yes. With, uh, uh, with my ex-husband with and ex-husband. he with his right. ex-wife. Um, a very nice, it's a very nice... Which, by the way, he had said he, he's never even met you previously. Obviously, the picture which we have, uh, you know, tells a different story. So uh, we went to the hats and he immediately put a, grabbed a fur hat, of course. And I said, oh, you can't put a dead animal on your head. And then I found out later, of course, all of his women wear those fur hats, Ivana, Ivanka, they, have you, you've seen mm-hmm. pictures, they all wear, okay. So um, he asked, I said, how old is the young lady? And he said, how old are you? And I said, 52. And he said, you're so old. He said that? Of course. He said, you're so old. And shortly after that, he said, I know, lingerie, or he could have said underwear. And so we went up the escalator, we went to the lingerie department. It was empty. There was nobody there. There was nobody on the whole floor, frankly. Um, I think you go through bathing suits and cruise wear. And this, the store was not popular at the time. Nobody was there on the counter. It, that's going to sound strange, people, that nobody was in the... Because store. Bergdorf's is the greatest store on the earth. They take care of whatever you want there. There, mm-hmm. If you're thirsty, they'll bring you water. They'll get you whatever. They'll call all over the country to get whatever you want. It was a moment in time. Nobody was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, a dressing room door was open, which is very unusual because usually they're locked. Mm-hmm. And the attendant comes and locks it, escorts you in, etc. Okay. So, on the uh, so counter, he said lingerie because he wanted he said he wanted you to help him pick out some lingerie. Well, he, it can't because he was not having it with the hats. Okay. The hats were okay. So then we went up. He was going to get some lingerie, and I am just like, oh, well, I can dine out forever on this story. We're going to go get lingerie. You go. You say you go up to the, the the lingerie department and no one is around. And there are two or three boxes on the counter. The fancy, remember the old fashioned lingerie boxes and a filmy see-through bodysuit in lilac gray. And he snatches it up and he says, go try this on. I said, you try it on. He said, no, it looks like it fits you. I said, it goes with your eyes. He said, no, go put this on. And Anderson- So at this point, it's, you're saying it's uh, a friendly- joshing. Joshing. I used to be a writer at Saturday Night Live. I see an entire sketch of making Donald Trump put this Filmy thing over his pants. That is what I'm thinking. Mm. I am not thinking, I think it's, I just, I was laughing as I said it. He said, well, you know, he went like this. And I walked in stupidly. So for you, this was kind of a, a New York moment. Like oh, one of the those Oh, the best things. New, just uh. like the best New York. Donald Trump is going to put on a filmy bodysuit. Mm. It's like, oh, I couldn't. So he, let's go in the dressing room. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to make him put the pants on. Walked in. And the minute I was in there, he shut the door and pushed me up against the wall and bang, bang my head on the wall and kissed me. I just, it was so shocking. I couldn't, of course, I started laughing again um, because... You started laughing? Of course. What, what, why? What, why, of course? Because it was a way of... If it was at all erotic in his part, it would, if a man is laughed at, it usually will make him, uh, um, um, and he put his shoulder against me to hold me against the wall. And at that point, I realized that I was in a very difficult situation. Did he say anything? No. No. It was just like, we're going to do this thing. We're just so hot for each other. Uh, or wh- I don't, wh- why would I even try to think what he was thinking? Anyway, so he pushed me, you know, he pushed me, held me with his shoulder, and I was wearing a, a coat dress and tights, and he pulled down the tights. And so um, that's he pulled, what... It, with, with, he pulled it in, uh, with both hands, with one hand? One. And um, that was when it turned serious. I realized that this was... This was... This was a fight. Um, and even though I can talk about it now uh, and put words to it, at the time the adrenaline is pouring through me and all I want to do is, right. How would you describe, what were you, you, you said you were, you were obviously fighting. surprised, fighting. Right. Were you scared? Were you no, angry? No, I was too panicked to be scared. Too panicked to be scared, okay. You know, uh, 
Is it, you said adrenaline was pumping. I assume it was right. because I got strong enough. He's six three. Apparently, I've looked it up. I was about six one in the massive heels I was wearing, and so we were even, almost even in height. And down go the tights, and it was against my will, and it hurt, and it was a fight. And this is not a question I would normally ask, and if, if you don't want to answer, I totally understand. Um, but given the prior accusations, which have all been of forms of assault or harassment, um, you're saying there was actual penetration? Yes. Did you, which is, puts it into a different category of any of these other, any of the other uh, women who have come forward? Um, I think, techno I mean, that that is... That is the definition of, of rape, one definition. That's the definition, yes.